In this video, uh, we will try to solve some of the numerical questions that were asked in Gate Economics paper of 2021. The first question is the long run cost function of all identical firms in a perfectly competitive industry is given by the function that its cost is 25q minus 3q square plus 1.5q cube. The market demand function is given by that is P is equal to 2500 minus 0.25 where Q is the total quantity and P is the price. The number of firms in the industry at equilibrium is we have to find the number of equilibrium firms. So how we will find that? First of all, uh, we are being told about the long run. Okay, we know that in long run, in, in long run, price should be equal to marginal cost which should be equal to average cost this is the equilibrium condition for any individual firm's output level optimal output level so this condition must be hold okay so we will find the marginal cost and average cost okay our average cost is simply so i will write our total cost function is given as 25 q minus 3 q square plus 1.5 q cube now finding the average cost is dividing the total cost by q so our average cost is simply so this will be 25 uh, 25 minus 3 q plus 1.5 q square as you know we divide this uh, every term by the q we get this very expression okay this is the average cost now marginal cost as you know is simply the derivative of the total cost function with respect to quantity so our total cost is this now the derivative of q is here one so this is 25 minus this two becomes coefficient so two threes are six q plus here at uh, this three becomes coefficient so this year 3 fives are 15 point three ones are three and four we get four point five q square okay this is the uh simply that uh derivative of the total cost with respect to quantity now we will uh, equate the marginal cost and average cost okay so uh equating uh, these two we will get that means I will write marginal cost is equal to average cost. So our marginal cost is this. So I will write here 25 uh, minus 6q plus 4.5q square. And our next term is this 25 minus 3q uh, plus 1.5u q square okay now i am i have equated them so i will solve this this will become minus this is plus this is minus now this is 25 minus 25 is 0 uh, minus 6 q plus 3 q this is minus uh, this is minus uh, 3 q here we have plus uh, 4.5 minus 1.5 is 3q square it should be equal to 0 so this is 3q square uh, minus 3q is equal to 0 or uh, factoring this uh, 3q out so we will get 3q here we get q minus 1 is equal to 0 okay I hope I make myself uh, clear. I have equated marginal cost with average cost and solving for Q. That means our 3Q is either equal to 0 or Q minus 1 is equal to 0. Now 3Q is equal to 0 means Q is equal to 0 here. Uh, this is Q is equal to transposing this will become 1. But uh, here we can see that uh, in the long run quantity supplied cannot be 0 the firm must uh, produce something okay it can't have the zero uh, output level so our q is equal to one so we got here quantity supplied by an individual firm in the long run is equal to one so this is the first part in solving this question next we will uh, calculate the market quantity 
okay rather uh, first we will uh, uh, calculate the marginal cost now since our q is equal to 1 we will put this uh, q is equal to 1 in this marginal cost function so our marginal cost is equal to this is 25 minus 6 times q is equal to 1 so 6 into 1 plus 4.5 into 1 square so this is 25 minus 6 is uh, plus 4.5 which is 25 minus 6 is 19 uh, plus 4.5 and which comes out to be and uh, this is 5 uh, 19 this is 23.5 so our marginal cost is this 23.5 so I will write here sorry our marginal cost is 23.5 okay from the relation we have uh, right, uh, written in the very beginning since marginal cost is equal to price so that means our price is also equal to 23.5 so our price is 23.5 individual uh, quantity supplied by a firm is one now we will calculate the market demand okay our market uh, uh, market uh, demand is simply we will solve this very function with for q and we know the value of p is equal to 23 23.5 so i will write here so next step is to calculate uh, calculate uh, the market quantity market quantity so our market this is our demand function p is equal to 2500 minus 0 0.25 q now inserting the value of p is 23.5 is equal to 2500 minus 0 0.25 q when solving this will become a 0 0.25 q is equal to 2500 minus 23.5 or 0 0.25 q is equal to now this is uh this is here uh five point uh six seven and this is four and this is two so we will get so i will write it here 0 0.25 or i will uh, simply write it uh, like this we can write q is equal to 2500 minus 23.5 divided by 0 0.25 when solving this we will get here this will come out to be uh, 12, uh, 12 4 7 6.5 divided by 0 0.25 when solving this we will get the answer 9906 so quantity supplied quantity supplied is equal to 9906 rather quantity supplied and quantity demanded is 9906 now we have to see the number of firms now number of firms is simply number of firms times the quantity supplied by the individual firm individual firm is equal to total quantity so this is the relationship between the number of firms so you can easily infer number of firms times the quantity supplied by each uh, since they are the identical firms here so this the uh, they will uh, they will rather uh, produce uh, the same level of output number of firms times quantity supplied by individual firm should be equal to the total quantity supplied how our n times quantity supplied by one firm we have seen somewhere here so this is one should be equal to total quantity uh, supplied is 9906 here we can see n n is simply uh, 9906 divided by 1 which is equal to 9906 so we can see here uh, number of firms is equal to 9906 so the correct option i guess uh, if i had done the calculation correctly this would be 9906 9906 firms why because every individual firm is supplying one unit one unit number of firms are n so n times 
the number of units supplied by each industry is equal to total supply it is very obvious to comprehend this